What is up guys? My name is Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Alright guys, in today's video we are going to be talking about the community manager possibly retiring and what could that mean for The Sims 4. As well as diving deep into some speculations about what we could actually be seeing as far as in 2023 for the roadmap and other things. Let's dive deep into the very first topic with somatically taking to Twitter saying, I find it weird that the previous community manager, Simgrew Frost, left a few months ago and we haven't been introduced to a new community manager since then like hello anyone there now a lot of people did have things to say under this tweet so if you wanted to go check it out just go ahead and go over on his twitter page in which i highly recommend but i did want to bring up that lindsey pearson actually tweeted back in 2019 of april 18th stating sim guru frost welcoming to the community team and he was originally from sims mobile now we do know sims mobile doesn't get that much attraction as far as from the sims 4 actual game but if you go over onto the forum site he has not stated anything since back in march many special Speculators have said what happened, what's going on, and if you look closely, you can see it here yourself where there was nothing actually announced since March from him. So a lot of people are wondering what is going on, and I've read more into the Sims forums, and if you look over at, you know, EA Kate, for example, all of this stuff is very recent as of August 17th, which was very, very recently. And if you go on to look at the Sims community's team saying, meet your Sims team, Sim Crew Frost isn't there. So so I think it is safe to say that he retired or or what is going on but of course my thoughts and opinions in just a second. I do want to quickly cover that some people over on the forum said correct Sim Guru Frost's absence has been a thing for a while. If the whole idea of a global community manager has been axed then I'm not sure why I still maintain the title. Is the Sims official Twitter the main source of news? I'm not sure. I also don't love the current model where individual Sim Gurus reveal unique information not on official channels. For example the lack of functional unicorn in the new EP was first stated in writing by Sim Guru George on his account that had only 344 you know followers over on TikTok. Perhaps his role is more about interfacing with Game Changers EA Creative Network as he is act inactive with the general fan base from a social media perspective. In terms of the main source, I found that the official Twitter account is the number one most consistent way to get most of the information. That's because the account will post additional things besides linking to blog posts on the Sims website and YouTube videos. Now if you look over to Pandora too saying those of us not on Twitter only get dribs and drabs of information that we have to score from elsewhere the boards AHQ especially now that Twitter blocks us from even reading a few posts now, with that being said, if you go ahead and take a look at the last things that Sim Guru Frost posted, it was back from when Growing Together was first initially released. Now, the thing about this in my speculation, and let's get into my thoughts and opinions, I personally feel like he most likely left. I do feel like he probably left, and I do think he's not stating anything, only because growing together had a lot of problems and a lot of backlash. A lot of people did feel that the UI should have been base game updates and that there was nothing much other than the infants to really add into the pack. Everything else felt like there should have been a base game update as well as in general people felt like the only way they got something out of infant update base game the base the infant base game update while wow, it's such a tongue twister for me the infant base game update was the fact that they had to get this pack in order for everything to work i would love to know your thoughts and opinions towards the end but again i don't know i just do feel like it's all in the air he could have left for that exact reason and just because the community is very strong when simmers talk we talk and when simmers you know feel some type of way we say it Twitter is a very, very different world. And again, this is why lately they have been pre-streaming the live streams and just blocking off the comment section in live streams. But it also did get me thinking over into the new Horse Ranch EP where Sim Guru Popcorn, actually who worked on it and is a producer over on The Sims 4, had tweeted and hasn't tweeted since June 24th. Now, the tweet did state, saying, Thank you for the enthusiasm and criticism on the trailer. Everyone has a right to their own opinion, and I completely understand. We can't get better without feedback and criticism from the folks we make it for. It won't be for everyone, but I really hope you'll give us a chance. Now, she did go on to tweet a little bit after this because many people did take the Twitter like, okay, what is wrong? Is she okay? Stating, if I'm not responding to a post, it's likely that I am unable to currently or it's something I don't have insight into. 
who's on here do our best to get the feedback to the folks that do. I expect a strong response to this and I'm doing my best to process. Now, with that being said, of course, Horse Ranch EP had its own set of problems and a lot of backlash. Many people felt that in one, there should have been unicorns, two, they were tired of the world looking like this and very US based, three, a lot of people this was a very, in my opinion, this was a very, very, very niche pack. I mean, it was horses. So if you weren't a horse person, automatically you were kind of turned off. And people felt like just in total, not only with the bugs included, but a lot of things felt like it should have just been a game pack rather than an EP. Because again, the just as the horses were the selling point. But of course, EA took money over what the players wanted. Now with that being said, speaking of EA, we do know that as of recently, they do have new people on board, such as Sim Guru Rachel, who was known to work way back when in The Sims. Now we do know that she is now one of the VPs and a lot of people people are speculating what could be going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing just yet. Now, if you take a quick look, they are, you know, promoting this EA Arts Positive Player Awards and where they're doing an EA Creative Play, where they're bringing on new players to talk and discuss more about what is going on with EA and what could we do to ba base or what, excuse me, what could they do to possibly go for a better outlook on the game. Now, again, as of right now, The Sims 4 hasn't really stated anything much. They have just been promoting the horse and, of course, the Grim Reaper speculations. They did make mentioned this saying good morning we we say morning but we wake up with fruit bloop up in our you know in our heads and basically that's referring to the the Katy Perry song that they made in Simlish and the Sims Direct of course and as usual has stayed silent throughout all of this EA help has not said anything either now this did get me thinking on a Sim Guru post back in June that Sim Guru Ninja ended up stating individual Sim Gurus can't respond to most questions outside the specific thing they're working on we're just mixed developers who occasionally join in on social media fun we love the game and share what we hear. The main Big Sims account is also a great place for feedback. And of course, when the live stream happened with the new Horse Ranch EP, Shirley Sims stated day 2048 of asking Maxis to abolish the Guru program and stop using their untrained employees as social media shields against the Sims community. And which Sim Guru Nova actually replied to this, saying, No one forced us to be Gurus. It's an opt in. Hence, how few of us there are compared to the larger team. I can't speak for others, but Personally, I chose to be one of the admirations I had for the other gurus before joining the team. And this let me all question and believe, did Sim Guru Frost actually leave? But then again, people are saying it says retired. I haven't seen the word retired on there. All I've seen was either no, you know, basically no activity coming from any of his socials and no activity coming from the EA forum. So I'm left to say that maybe he did. Again, nothing is officially confirmed because we haven't, one, gotten stated a new community manager, and two, we also haven't gotten any pretty much news on it. I mean, the news is this. This is the news. So I'm thinking he did retire. In my personal opinion, I do think so. But also, again, Sim Gurus aren't forced to be Sim Gurus. You know, their job title is something else. So maybe they feel like, okay, if we don't have to be on Twitter and we don't have to be, you know, in this uproar of like controversy and backlash, then I don't want to do it. I just want to do my job and, you know, stay over here at my desk and not have to enter interact with everyone else but again his job was a community you know it was it was based around the community the community manager so I do feel like that was part of your job with that being said I couldn't help myself but also look into the forum because it's kind of fun over there I highly advise you guys to go over there and check it out if you guys aren't over on Twitter at least anyway but people were talking about things that they wanted to see in 2023. And some people even ended up thinking about scuba diving. People mentioned pool tables. Now, of course, these are all back when from Sims 1, 2, and 3. And it's just so lively. Like, the more you compare Sims 1, 2, and 3, the more lively everything looks and seems. And it's just like, why don't we have this in The Sims 4? But we all know why, okay? it's To them, it's, it's, it's quality, quantity over quality all the time every time with the sims but again i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions towards what you guys really feel about the sim gurus and do you feel like maybe they should just stay off twitter and just mainly focus on the job because do you feel like they're kind of setting themselves back um you know on purpose kind of it's almost like they're you know they're they're doing it to themselves and i feel like this is exactly why they are in a damn if they do damn if they don't situation with that all being said thank y'all so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up because it truly does help on my channel and if you learned something new that that is even more great go ahead and 
drop a notification bell and subscribe so that you don't miss another video. With that all being said, we are on the road to 30K and again, I am so grateful. Whether you like my videos, comment down below, or are assigned viewer in some way, shape, or form, you supported my channel and for that, I thank you. I will see you guys all in the next video. And if there's anything you ever want me to cover, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Bye.